So, hello there, all my beautiful guys, gals, non binary pals. I'm Danny, and today, as you can see by this lovely box, I went shopping. It was great, I bought a lot of stuff, and for some reason in the school shopping there was an area with art supplies and I kind of snuck a sketchbook into my cart because, you know, that's what artists do. And I have a bunch of art, suppli art supplies, school supplies here, and the question is, can some of these be used as art supplies? And as I was shopping, I saw these things, you remember this thing? Huh? It's the the four pen thing, bullet point pen that everyone hates because it does this sound in the middle of exams. I was that annoying kid that just played with it. And it's great. And this one I actually already had from like a previous school year. I don't know. And then I saw that when I bought this one, they gave me this one for free. I don't know. It said in the package, so it must be true. And this is different because it has this thingy that's supposed to be like a highlight thing, so that's fun. And today I want to see if I can draw something with these things. I hope so, because that's why I bought them. I actually don't write with these pens, I write with like more jelly ink pens, so if this doesn't work I just wasted like 3 euros. That's sad. So, without any further ado, just let's go, go right into the table over there and let's see if we can make something. So, first I just make little swatches of every single color we have to kind of figure out how they look and how I can combine them in some way. And then I move on to figure out what the hell I'm gonna draw because I have no idea. My first plan is maybe one character with a light sword, because that way I can really use that highlighter pen that we have, but I figured that I wanted to use all the colors and using all of them in a character would look really weird and out of place, so I decided to scratch that and try and do two characters. At first I went with maybe two best friends, like, that were very different and that we would show that with the different colors of the two pens, one being really bright and one really dark. And I like that idea, but I don't know, I, I wanted to try something different. So I made something similar, using each pen for one character, but this time there was the darker pen was like a evil character, the enemy. And the lighter pen was like the hero that was fighting that creature. And I went like a lizard, so I could use the green instead of the black for a skin color because I wanted to make do something different and use the pens a lot more for shading and I figured some scaly things would be fun to do and I really liked the bright character we had on the best friends one so I took her and I kind of adapted her to be like the monster hunter in the picture. And now we need to move on to the final piece. And let's go! Another, another piece of paper, please! And so, in this lovely um, final picture, I was still like not sure how to draw with this. This was all supposed to be like a first time drawing with these pens, and that was the point of the video, so I didn't practice at all. And I wasn't sure how to use it for shading or sketching really well, because I've always sketched with a pencil or a mechanical pencil, and even writing, I use like those liquid ink pens. I haven't used this one since like the fourth grade or something. So it was really a new experience. But I have something to tell you, because as of recording this lovely audio for you, I've actually already had classes. I started school last week, so I had a week of classes, and in that week, I used those pens a lot. 
To study, you might ask? <laughs> no. To draw in class, the best activity. To do at school. So, I use them to do lots of stuff in class, especially realistic drawing. And holy poopish. <laughs> Sorry. I was about to swear and I can't. Even though I'm not even monetized yet, so what's the point? But anyways, I really, really love those pens for realistic drawing. I really do, and I've been using them a lot to draw like cats and dogs during class, because what should I be doing during, during class? Like, paying attention? Pfft. But actually, I personally pay a lot more attention when I'm like not looking at the teacher. Instead, I'm looking down, but I'm listening. That's how I take things in, so the teachers know that about me, and they don't really care if I'm drawing. So, and then I'm in like the first row of seats, because, you know, my name starts with a D, so it's one of the first ones. Anyways. So, the teachers already know me, and they actually come over to like check out my drawings, and it's really cool. Thanks, teachers! Okay, so, what I'm trying to tell you with this is that I want to make lots more videos, or maybe, I don't know, something different with these pens, because I really love drawing with them in class, and so... I can't exactly film a video in class, like, the teachers are, are cool with me drawing in class, but bringing my uh, filming setup and using it during class might be a little too much for them, I don't know. So what I'm planning on doing is like making a really ambitious piece with the pens. Like something really different and epic. I'm thinking some like realistic animals because you guys know I like drawing those. I don't know, like something like a bigger piece of paper and maybe like I would use a lion or a dog or something different. I don't know. And using using the darker pen because like the neon one probably wouldn't work for this but like using the black and maybe the blue and the red and the green and I'm not sure if I'm gonna combine them but I'll use the black for sure because that's my favorite one to use so far and I want to do that so if you guys want have like have any suggestions for like realistic animals that you want me to draw or like anything you want me to draw with the pens please leave them below, I would really, really appreciate it. And it would help me, because I don't know what I want to draw. I know I want to draw something with them. And, like, see the comparison between this video that you're watching now, that's the first time I ever used this for drawing, and, like, something that I draw after having practiced a lot, mostly during classes, and, like, being able to draw with these specific pens. So please let me know down below, it would be really appreciated. And now, just enjoy me drawing these random characters, and I hope you like the video. In here is the new addition to the art cave. It's really cool, I think. I had no idea what I was gonna do when I started this, so it's good that I actually did something. You can see here the nice lizard man. I actually like her a lot more. I think her design is great. And you know, I never really drew with these pens before. I'm more of a colored pencil and charcoal kind of person. But now that I've tried it, I have an idea. I was thinking about doing like a realism challenge with these. So use this to make any sort of realistic drawing. If you guys want me to do that, tell me in the comments, maybe even give me some suggestions like what should I draw? Sorry box. What should I draw realistically with these lovely things? Probably just this one because honestly, glowy highlights and these fancy really thingy colors don't really fit that style, but maybe just with this one. Can this pen make realistic art? I don't know. Actually, I never tried it. I'm just filming the intro to this video. I, I haven't started. So, if you want to find out, subscribe and leave a like so I'm motivated to draw with that thing that just fell over there. And remember to share this video because that will make puppy here really happy. Mm, 
So that's all we have time for today in the art cave. And until next time, you know, be sure to share the channel. Sorry, these pens are great. And I'll see you guys on the other side. On the other, on the other side. Bye!